Right, in this video, we're going to look at shear force and bending moment diagrams, and we're going to start with this example. So here we have a simply supported beam that's carrying a 6 kilonewton node that is 3 meters from point A. So uh, the first thing we'll do is try and work out what are the reaction forces at A and C. And to do that, we will take the moments about A or C. So in this case, we're going to start with the moments about C. So if this is the point C, we say that the clockwise moments must be equal to the uh, anti-clockwise moments. So here's the clockwise moment going this direction. And this is the anti-clockwise moment. So the clockwise moment is five times RA because there's the three meters plus two meters. That's five times RA going in that direction. And the anti-clockwise, <coughs> it's two meters by this. That's two meters by six, which is 12. And if we solve that, then we get a value of RA is equal to 2.4 kilonewtons. So let's pop that uh, value in there now. Now, if we want to calculate RC, well, the sum of the forces must be equal to zero. So we could say that, uh, you know, we have six kilonewtons coming down. And now we have 2.4 going up. So we, the value here at RC could be or would be. So it's six. Uh, 3.6 kilonewtons. OK, so that's one way of doing it. Uh, I prefer to actually take the moments about it, um, about A here, to do it that way. And if I do that, if I take the moments about A, so the clockwise um, moment in this case is, sorry, that's the anti-clockwise moment, <clears throat> is 5 times RC, and the clockwise is uh, 3 times by 6, which is 18. And if we solve for that, we get RC is equal to 3.6. And now we can do the sum. So we can say that 6 kilonewtons is equal to 2.4 plus 3.6. And that is correct. So our answer must be right. Uh, and the reason I do it that way is if I've made a mistake in calculating RA, um, I, it will show up here in, in, this, in this sum. OK, so that uh, is our, our shear force. And if we wanted to draw the shear force diagram, it would be something like, you know, so there's the beam. So at this point here, we have a force of 2.4 kilonewtons. Comes across. And then we have 6. That comes across uh, to 3.6. And I'm going to show you how we get that uh, now. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a segment uh, between A and B. There it is. OK, so uh, this segment here. And I've just zoomed in on this side. So if we look at the forces, you know, to the left of this little segment. Well, all the forces to the left are, are just RA here. So we have a force of 2.4 kilonewtons. Now, if I look at all the forces uh, on the right-hand side of that segment, well, I have 6 kilonewtons going down and 3.6 kilonewtons going up. So when I combine them together, I get 2.4 kilonewtons coming down. So that's, and if we looked at just this segment here, that is a shear force of 2.4 kilonewtons. Okay, and because there's no change in any of the forces uh, between A and B, everywhere along this pl plane, pl place, even to there, that will all be the same. Okay, so if I was to draw that on, on the shear force diagram, you know, it goes up to 2.4. And right at this point, then, it's going to change. 
Okay, so let's look what happens uh, on, on the other side of the six kilonewton uh, load. Actually, before I do that, uh, why don't I look at the, uh, the bending moment? <clears throat> so if I take the bending moment uh, at this point, <clears throat> so I'm looking at the force, so I'm looking at the force here, acting at that distance x and we know that force here the shear force is 2.4 kilonewtons so the bending moment is 2.4 kilonewtons by x um, meters so 2.4 x kilonewton meters okay so that would that is what the bending moment is at this point All right, if I go on uh, and look at the other side of the six kilonewton force, so let's take uh, a little segment there between B and C. And now if we look at the forces here on the left-hand side, you can see it is the sum of 2.4 and 6, which gives me 3.6 kilonewtons going down. And to the right-hand side is just the, this force here, which is 3.6 also. So the shear force uh, at this point will be uh, minus 3.6 uh, kilonewtons. Uh, it's minus because I'm going to start taking everything from the left-hand side. Okay, This is going down, so this will give this a minus. So uh, that's our shear force. So what, what we can see from the shear force, um, if we take any point, it is just the sum of the forces to the left hand side. So we'll always take it from the left hand side. Some of the forces to the left hand side of that segment. That will be the shear force. Now the bending moment uh, at this particular point, well we have 2.4 acting uh, this distance k, x sorry. So that's that moment there. by that distance x. And then we have this force here, this moment here, and it's going in the opposite direction. So it'll be minus six kilonewtons. And what's that distance? Well, if this is x and this distance here is three, so if that's three and up to here is x, then this must be x minus three. So that will be six kilonewton times x minus three. And that's what we write down here. Okay, so the, the bending moment is 2.4 kilonewtons by x minus 6 kilonewtons times x minus 3. And when we multiply that out, um, we get minus 3.6 x plus 18 kilonewton meters. Okay, so uh, if I was to graph those, then that's what I would get. And uh, I'll show you how I did that in Excel in in another video.